you can see, we are here on my zero gauge train layout, I guess I could call it now, because I have a functioning train. And here it is. What kind of train it is, I have no clue. But look at this. Isn't that cool? It's which it's supposed to be one of those uh it switches the the things around on the on the track. I don't know what it is, but it goes both ways, which is really cool. And the horn's broken on it, which is not so cool. I'll, I'll fix that one day. This thing I gotta open up because uh, there's a couple wires that are loose that are just hanging down and so it's stopping it from working all the time. It randomly works, which is fine. And uh, I got this train for, what did I get it for? I think $60 was it or 50, 50, no. 60 yes yeah, 60 dollars that train and if we come over here i got i was given these with it so isn't that cool i don't know what i'll do with those but yeah and uh i just got the the rail sketchily um attached down just with random drywall screws and piece of the cardboard stacked up but it's stable enough that the train goes around and this is my transformer thing I don't know what they call it but it's my you know it makes you feel like a train conductor when you use it I don't know what it's called but look at and it actually has a light bulb underneath this green plastic this actually looks like Bakelite I mean this this is from 55 I think or who knows the 50s at least this train that train cart is from the 50s and and I, I would say that's from the 50s too because well look at this you can just hear a hum from it <coughs> excuse me and this is how I wired it I just drilled holes through and just wired, hardwired onto there. And that just goes into there. And uh, this thing's pretty cool because I found out that those over there are for all the accessories. So I'm definitely going to be getting accessories. And I've got a direction change, which is cool because this one goes, as I said, in two directions. And it's got a whistle, but this whistle is broken on this. It does make a noise. So it does, it's supposed to have a whistle where whatever is making that noise is just, it's, it's broken now, but maybe if I clean it off or something, it will start the horn noise again. So I'll have to open it up. It's an ugly thing, but I do not care. And it's just carrying the passenger train cart. I don't know what they're called. It's really cool. So you just... You can switch her on and off to make it go opposite ways and you can give her as much power as you want. It's a bit noisy. Isn't that neat? I just can't believe something from the 50s is working. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's from the 50s. I know that part's from the 50s. I'm just assuming it's all really old because it's train stuff. And do they even make train stuff anymore? I don't know. But yeah, I'm excited. Just want to show it off. So, as always, folks, thanks for tuning in.